In this video, we will cover how to install Rexnord Smart Condition Monitoring System Model 1010 Universal Installation Kit on V-Class gear drives. As part of the Model 1010 Universal Field Installation Kit, we will cover installing an oil sump temperature and vibration sensor, an Andon light, and the edge device on the gear drive. Before beginning the installation, verify that you have all the required parts and tools to complete the installation. The vibration sensor will be installed near the high speed end of the drive. The preferred side is the side where the motor couples to the gearbox. For V-Class gear drives, refer to the documentation included in the Model 1010 Universal Kit that specifies the correct position of the vibration sensor. To install the sensor, mark the position of the mounting plate. Use a number 3 drill and drill to a depth of 0.5 inches. Do not exceed this depth as it may result in damage to the gear drive. Use a quarter 28 tap and thread the hole to a minimum depth of 0.34 inches. Apply thermal tape to the back of the mounting plate and punch a hole in the tape removing any access. Proper orientation is critical to the function of the sensor. When installing, orient the sensor so that the angled edge of the sensor is located in the 11 o'clock position. There is also an x-axis marked on the sensor. Ensure that x-axis is parallel to the split line of the housing. Use Loctite to secure the fastener. Position the mounting plate on the gear drive and secure the plate with a quarter 28 screw. Attach the sensor to the plate using the two provided M3 screws. If it is impractical or not safe to drill the hole into the gearbox due to accessories, components, or clearance, the plate can be epoxied using two-part DEVCON plastic welder. To ensure proper adhesion, prep the surface by sanding the paint and cleaning prior to applying the epoxy. Start by locating the drain port on the drive where the sump temperature sensor will be installed. For V-Class gear drives, the recommended location is on the low speed end. Apply pipe joint compound to the threads on the bushing and temperature sensor. Install the bushing in the drain port and then install the temperature sensor into the bushing. Select a suitable location to mount the P-clip to secure the Modbus converter to the housing. For V-Class gear drives, this is at the end of the drive near the bottom. The hole for the clip will need to be drilled and tapped. Do not drill through the housing. Verify that the cable for the temperature sensor will reach the converter prior to drilling. Install the converter into the P-clip and attach to the drive with the M8 hardware. Attach the Modbus converter to the temperature sensor by connecting the blue end of the sensor cable with the blue end of the converter. Take the components of the Andon light and begin to assemble them. Take the screws and fit them into the holes of the circular base. Take the mounting bracket and using the washers and nuts, assemble them together. Insert the rubber grommet in the center of the circular base. Screw the metal conduit onto the mounting bracket. Slide the conduit adapter onto the conduit. Take the Andon light and feed the cable through the piping until the cables emerge on the other side. Screw the light tight. Unistrut will be used to secure the edge device to the gear drive. In most applications, it is generally easiest to install the edge device at the low speed end of the drive on the same side that the vibration sensor is located. However, if there is a lack of clearance or accessories that prevent this, the edge device can be installed on any of the four corners of the drive. On V-Class units, the Unistrut will be mounted using the existing M12 threaded holes in the housing. Cut the Unistrut to length. Secure the Unistrut to the housing using the provided M12 hardware. 
To install the edge device mounting plate to the Unistrut, two holes will need to be drilled into the plate to attach half inch fasteners. This allows the plate location to be customized based on the application. However, when selecting hole locations, verify that the sensors will not interfere with the edge device. Use a step drill bit and drill two clearance holes to a diameter of 9 16 of an inch. An additional hole for the Andon light will also need to be drilled at this time. Drill a 3 8 inch clearance hole on the top of the plate to accommodate the Andon light bracket. Use the channel nuts with half inch hardware to attach the edge mounting plate to the Unistrut. Attach the Andon light assembly using the 5 16 inch bolt and lock nut. Secure the edge device to the mounting bracket using the provided 5 16 inch hardware. In the Model 1010 Universal Kit, you will be provided serial cables that will connect the sensors to the edge device. Cable clips will be installed on the drive and will be used to secure the sensor wires to the gear drive. The housing will need to be sanded and cleaned prior to mounting to ensure proper adhesion. Use the provided two-part DEVCON plastic welder to secure the cable mounts in place. Start wiring the kit by connecting the two Y splitters together. Install one end into one of the ports located at the bottom of the edge device. All cable connections must run through this port. Use the longest length serial cable to connect the sensor that is furthest away from the edge device to an open port on the Y splitter. This is typically the vibration sensor in most applications. Use the shorter serial cable to attach the Modbus converter and Andon light to the remaining open ports on the splitter. Secure the cables with the provided cable mounts and ties. Loop any access cable neatly behind the edge device and use cable ties to secure the cables to the Unistrut. Start by removing the four fasteners of the interface box on the edge device. The screws only require a quarter turn to loosen. Do not use power tools on these screws. Inside you will find connectors for the AC power plug and RJ45 data cables. Two QR code tags for the gearbox are also included. Apply one of those tags to the gear drive in a location that is visible and accessible when the drive is in service. Have a licensed electrician use the connector to make a power cable for the edge device. A knockout punch can be used to punch holes in the top or bottom of the interface box for the conduit. Connect the PLC to the edge device using the RJ45 cable and plug it into the LAN slash PLC port on the right side. Attach the power cable by aligning the key and pressing the connector into the bulkhead. Turn the hand nut until the connector is tight and fully engaged. Once the connections have been made, reinstall the cover. The edge device may take a few minutes to power on, and when the device is ready, the Andon light will illuminate green, indicating that everything has been installed properly. This completes the installation for Rexnord's 1010 Smart Condition Monitoring System Kit for V-Class gear drives. For more information, refer to the installation manual, which can be found on rexnord.com.